It's your boy Yashi Roku. About to do an update. I've been doing some riding off and on. I just haven't been really recording. I'm trying to find a microphone so I can kind of record my audio while I'm riding. But uh, this is just an update. Walk around. My seat is broken. <laughs> so, uh,. I had to get that fixed. I tried to epoxy it, but um, that didn't really last too long. See, I got my battery. Instead of me having to actually take all this stuff off and take the battery out to charge it, so what I do is just run this line down here and then hook up my battery tender. But I don't leave this out. This is just when I'm here and I want to charge it real quick. Just charge and it runs right under there. Then I run it back in here and then I um, tie it in here when I'm done without having to take the battery out. Because I used to have to take the battery like all the way out. But um, I'm probably only going to do that for like the winter time so that uh, the cold weather doesn't um, discharge the battery. And you can see my wrap is actually coming up a little bit. But um, don't really don't really care too much long it's as it serves its purpose for not burning my leg because this thing actually really does get real hot as you can see down there uh, it's actually turning blue the carb I had to put the stock carb back on because there was something wrong with the carb that I got the carb is right here um, it was sucking too much air I also replaced one of the back engine bolts, but you can't really see it. I'm actually going to show you a video of that. To do this, but yeah, this is the engine mount bolt. As you can see, it snapped. So, so had to get this welded. Now, I'm going to get another one because uh, I was doing a little Gymkhana. Well, in a parking lot rather, and I got stuck in fourth gear, so that kind of sucked. So I had to get this welded back. Other than that, bike has been held up. I just got to take this choke cable off because I really don't need that anymore. Uh, the light's still looking good. Now, originally I was going to get a blue one, but I probably would have been mad because I wanted the blue with the gold rims but since this one came with the black rims I wasn't too um, upset about that it's got like the Oreo cookie thing going on and they have a few other rims I think for the Grom online that that actually looks similar to the ones that are um, advertised with this bike to figure out what kind of brake pads going here I think the Grom um, brake pads might work I just gotta figure that out the horn but my horn really doesn't work I gotta figure that out I think it's the switch but yeah go over all your bolts and check and see if everything is is pretty good the engine bolts are pretty fine but um you might still want to check it and I didn't know that was the ground right there now the next thing I'm probably going to be doing trying to get some levers some some different color levers I might get the wheels painted because I actually like these wheels I don't think I want to get any more and maybe some better tires loading up for us just turn this on real quick as you can see it's 1400 miles on it little light and also what I fixed was this rear comes on when I turn the ignition on before it was hooked up to this right here but uh, I changed that so only this functions as the high beam I'm um, well the low beam from the first setting and the second setting is the high beam so let me turn this off so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. 
lately. I'll fix this probably when I put stuff back up. I just wanted to go through what I've been doing. I haven't really been making any videos lately, but um, I have been riding, you know, when the weather was good. We're actually getting better weather now, so hopefully I can start doing some moto vlogs about me riding a bike, but um, right now i also going to do a little bit of more modding. So yeah, see you guys the next time. This is Yashi Roku out.